All right, I'm going to show you all how to get this data cranked through real quick in Excel. And I'm not going to use Megastat. I'm simply going to use the Data Analysis Tool Pack. I'm going to come up here. Whoa. Come up here, and I'm going to want to open it. You'll see there's my Gulf View. It's the file I gave you guys. And so here it is. I'm going to come up here to Data. And I'm going to come way down here to Data Analysis. Hang on while I grab it. So I'm over here, and I've got Data Analysis, and I just simply double-clicked. And it gave me this nifty um, dialog box. And let me move my stuff around again. Hang on. Okay, I think I've got everything lined up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Descriptive Statistics. So I've just gone in here. I've highlighted Descriptive Statistics, and I'm going to click OK. And it gives me this great dialog box. First thing it wants is my input range. Well, I'm going to do Gulf View Condos first. Do not, do not highlight that cell. All I want are list price, sales price, days to sell. And I'm going to go all the way down until I've got them all. And I want to let it know that I have labels in the first row. And I'm going to put it in a new worksheet. And I'm going to call it Gulf View Prop. And this will just let me know when I'm working with this stuff what I've got. And I want summary statistics. And once I've done that, I'm going to click OK. And Excel thinks for a minute. And you can see what it's done for me. It's come down here. It's come down here. And it's, remember where I typed in Gulf View Properties? It's named, <coughs> excuse me, it's named this worksheet for me. Data, that's where I had my original data. If I clicked, you'd see there's my underlying data. But now this is Gulf View Properties. So what do I have? I have all the mean, median, everything for list price. I have it for sales price. I have it for days to sell. So I'm simply going to double click up here so I can get these things so that they don't look so little. I'm just double, I'm just positioning my little cursor. Now, these are some horrendous numbers, so I'm going to go through, and I'm going to highlight those cells, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to hit Format Cells, and I'm going to format the cells to numbers, and I'm really, because I'm dealing in thousands, I'm going to go out two decimal places, and I'm going to say OK. See, those numbers look a lot nicer. Come over here and do the same thing, highlight my cells, right click. Format cells, come to number, two decimal places, say OK. One more time, go format cells, number, two decimal places, OK. So now what is it giving me? It's giving me for the Gulf View properties the mean, um, the median, the mode, the standard deviation. You all don't know about kurtosis, so don't worry about that. But here's my skewness. Remember my Pearson's index? The range, minimum, maximum, and how many data values I had for list price, sales price, and days to sell. So if I'm going to now go back and do the non gulf view properties, I'm going to do it exactly the same way. So again, I've done the same thing. I just went up and clicked on the double-clicked on the Data Analysis tab. I've gone to Descriptive Statistics, and now I'm going to click OK. Except this time, I'm just going to back through this, because this time what I want is I want non-Gulf View. So I'm going to highlight those. I'm going to make sure on my new worksheet, I'm going to say non-Gulf View Properties got my summary statistics. I'm going to click OK. Excel is going to think for a second, same way it did before. And now what it gives me is all of the same information, except now for the non-Gulf View properties. So I'm going to go through the exactly the same way I did before, and I'm going to format them. I'm going to make them a number, two decimal places, blah, blah, blah. So 
this gives you your underlying numbers. And it's going to be up to you all which ones you use um, or don't use, but you can obviously already see something different here. Look at the difference in the skewness. Um, list price and sales price are pretty okay, but skewness 1.36 compared to 0 0.30. What do you know? What does that tell you? Um, what kind of information does that give you? So this is just fundamentally running through, cranking this Excel data through the data analysis tab. Um, I'm going to see if I can do a little bit of something for you on some of these charts as well. So hope this helps.